What if it's not the enemy? What if it's you? Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is Igra Dynasty. It's Meow, and I'm back with another motivational video. Let's get to it. No matter what the odds may bring our way, I can see the blessings coming our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessings on blessings, yeah. I can see the blessings coming our way. into the book of Jonah so go ahead and meet me in the book of Jonah let's get to it one day the Lord told Jonah go to the great city of Nineveh and say to the people the Lord has seen all your sins you are doomed instead Jonah ran from the Lord he went to the seaport of Joppa and bought a ticket on a ship that was going to Spain then he got on the ship and sailed away to escape so Jonah escaped from his assignment <laughs> but the Lord made a strong wind blow and such a bad storm came up and that ship was about to be broken to pieces the sailors were frightened and they all started praying to their gods they even threw the ship's cargo overboard to make the ship lighter. All this time, Jonah was down below deck, sound asleep. Yeah, so everybody's stressed out. Everybody is just like panicking, praying to their false gods. And the one with the real God, you know, he's just like chilling, knocked out. Verse 6. The ship's captain went to him and said, How can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will have pity on us and keep us from drowning. Finally, the sailors got together and said, Let's ask our gods to show us who caused all this trouble. It turned out to be Jonah. They started asking him, are you the one who brought all this trouble on us? What business are you in? Where do you come from? What is your country? Who are your people? So Jonah answered, I'm a Hebrew and I worship the Lord God of heaven who made the sea and the dry land. When the sailors heard this, they were frightened because Jonah had already told them from the gate that he was running from God. Then they said, do you know what you have done? The storm kept getting worse until finally the sailors asked, what should we do with you to make the sea calm down? Jonah told them, throw me into the sea and it will calm down. I'm the cause of this terrible storm. Okay, so they didn't want to throw him, you know, into the sea like that, but he knew that he was the cause of the storm and he did not want you know everybody else to suffer because of his lack of obedience you know to the lord so he was just like yeah throw me into the sea I i'm gonna be all right if i drown i drown if i die i die like he was just like okay you know that <laughs> I, I don't know i could not have been jonah <laughs> so now they about to throw jonah to the sea but they they really didn't want to they was like, they were all like, Lord, please, please don't make us pay for taking this man's life. He a cool dude. We, we wouldn't even have to throw him into the sea if he wasn't the cause of this storm. So they threw him into the sea. The storm immediately calmed down. Next thing you know, a whole fish, a whale swallowed Jonah for three days and three nights. Listen. I, I wouldn't, I'm so scary. I wouldn't even let it get that far. I, the minute I saw the whale from a distance, I, I would have been like, okay, God, okay. So where you say you wanted me to go? Oh, Naniva? Oh, you just want me to tell them if they don't stop with their foolishness, they're going to be doomed. That's it? Okay, okay, that's, okay, bet. We out. L let's go. We out. 
tell the well to turn around, make a U-turn, because you and I figured it out. We figured it out. So after being tortured inside that well for about three days, Jonah just surrendered to God, gave him this sincere prayer, and God commanded the well to spit Jonah out into the shore. So Jonah is finally on the shore. He's heading to Nineveh. I think it took him about three days. So he gets there, delivers the message. The people actually took the message seriously. And the leaders were telling everybody, uh, let us not eat. Uh, uh, make sure we wear burlap sack. As a matter of fact, the, the animals can't eat either and put burlap sacks on them too. And they stopped doing wickedness. The Lord saw that they were changing their wicked ways. And he decided to change his mind and not let destruction come upon them. So when Jonah realized this, you won't believe this man got in his in his feelings like Jonah got into his feelings like you know they had like an interesting relationship like any little thing God did any decision God made Jonah for some reason was always in his feelings and I I, I don't know I found that weird but that's not the point the question is where are we in life <laughs> what did God call us to do where did he tell us to go? Are we at the right place at the right season? Are we with the correct spouse? Are we in the correct school? Are we in the correct ministry? Did we even start the ministry that God wanted us to start? Are you in the right church? Did you get confirmation from him? Who's on your boat that have no business being in there? Are you on the right boat? Do you know where you're headed? Maybe that's why storms are happening around you. That Maybe that's why chaos is, is amongst you because you're not where you're supposed to be. The Lord wanted me to read the book of Jonah. And I read it twice. And he let me know that some cases is not the enemy. It's just our disobedience. He tells us what to do. He instructs us. He gives us like certain assignments, but we choose to take our own path. And sometimes we do it unknowingly uh, because we're not sure, we're confused. And, and sometimes we know that it's the Lord that wants us to do this or that or to go here or there. And we just like, no, that once we get back on the correct assignment, once we go where the Lord tell us to go, do what he tell us to do, he will command the storm to calm down. May the Lord redirect you to your correct destination. May you be on time for every season that God has ordained for your life. May the Lord give you supernatural boldness, not only to face your assignments, but to complete them. In Jesus' name. All right, so this concludes Motivational Monday. I decree and declare that you will have a good day, a good week, that this is your season. You will have an encounter with the Lord, and he will give you revelation, clarity. Everything that you need is in him. So go in peace and know that the Lord is with you. <laughs>